Welcome back to the next video on Project Site's new mobile app. Uh, so in this video, we're going to cover the forms in themselves and the functionality that's inside each form on this new app. Uh, so if I go into the checklist module on the top right, that has the red three on it. Um, I'm presented with the list view, which we talked about before. And now we're going to go into the actual record itself. Uh, these are a list of records that I have access to see, or I can create new ones if I have permissions to do that as well uh, with the blue plus button on the bottom right. So I'm gonna tap that. And it's gonna bring up my templates. These templates are set up on the web using various different categories. And you can open up and expand these categories and create a new inspection of one of those that's been uh, created on the web. These are not able to be created or edited as templates on the mobile at this time. Um, so they need to be added on the web for you to have access to them. Now what I can do is tap on one of these. Let, let's go into the safety one and do a scaffold inspection and hit add on the top right corner. And that's gonna open a new scaffold inspection. Um, you can see that there's various fields to fill out on the top part of this form. Uh, one of them is required, which is the number. Um, but the instructions down below, you can see that you can pre-fill out sections of this form um, with instructions or other uh, custom fields that you want the users to fill out in the field. Um, and so what we'll do is close this one and open up one that already exists, which is that first uh, Lot 47 inspection checklist. And from this one, I have everything filled out already so you can see what it would look like. Um, the number for that checklist, the status is pending reinspection. These statuses are uh, also permission controlled. So if you have access to see certain statuses, you can change those, uh, such as open. Everybody has the ability to use a draft and save a draft so that you can keep your notes going throughout the day as you need, and then uh, change that to open or save it when you're done. Um, this is revision two. It automatically revisions the records and the subject shows law 47 inspection. Um, the location field shows room 104B, and underneath that it shows the full path of how I got to room 104B. So it's interior, first floor, area A, uh, 104, and then 104B. I have the ability to change that by tapping this section and brings up uh, the location uh, picker. So I can search through this. Maybe I want to change this to uh, 104A, but instead of just tapping the one below 104B, I'll search for it. So I'll type in 104 and it brings up all the 104s. So I can tap A and then hit select on the top right corner. And that changes it to 104A in the checklist. Now below that is the CC. And if I CC or assign this to somebody and it's a draft, it will automatically change it to open. Uh, because other people are involved in this inspection now. Um, so if you want to keep it draft, uh, don't assign anybody just yet or CC them um, until you're ready to do that. If I scroll down, I have the references section. This includes uh, attachments such as photos, uh, videos, linked drawings, linked specifications, uploaded files, uh, things like that. And I can scroll through this list and see everything that was captured on the site including any drawings that were linked in there and any annotations that were done on the drawings show up here. I can add more with the blue plus button there in the middle of the screen on the right side. I can also link a record to this checklist. I can link any record to any record. Um, so if I come into the, the section marked records, I can tap the plus button and open up and link any of these records to a checklist or any other record type. So if I tap on, for example, I wanna link an action item to this checklist, I just tap action items. And I can search for the action item that I want and link it and hit select. And now that uh, spec or the action item uh, is linked into the checklist. Down below that, I have the actual checklist itself. And this has all of the different uh, checklist items inside of them that neither that either need to be passed, failed, or any of that. Um, I need to assign these checklists to somebody. Um, I need to add comments or I need to add photos into this. Uh, so I can do that here by making my selections in these checklist items. 
And this uh, pass attention required NA, these buttons are customizable. So you can call them whatever you need to call them uh, so that it makes sense. That is also customized at the template level on the web. Um, if I go in to uh, assign this to someone, this first one, uh, underneath the, the black pass button that's selected there, there's the assign button. And I can tap that and bring up the assign menu. Uh, you can see that my name's already assigned with a due date. And when I complete this item, I have the ability as me to tap that check mark and mark that item is done. I also have the ability to add more people to this. So I'll tap add on the top right corner and it brings up my project list. These are all the people on my project. I can scroll down through and assign one and hit confirm at the bottom right. And that being, brings uh, the other bin into this assigned column and I can set the due date for him as well. I can mark that for tomorrow and go back with the back button on the top left corner. And now you can see under that first set of photos, there's two assignees, whereas last time there was one. Um, there's also six attachments. So I can come in and add more photos or attachments to this. If I tap photos on that checklist item, which is uh, Underneath the NA button, it brings up the photo module and I can switch to photo and video there. I can use my flash and I can start to capture photos. I'm just pointing it at my desk for this. You can see that it's snapping a bunch of photos in that uh, little gallery below. When I'm done, I can either hit done on the top right corner or I can hit the pencil on the top right corner to do edits. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna select something interesting by circling it. And I'll tap the next photo over and do the same thing, just a little different. And uh, I'll tap the next one over and I'll type some text. Hit done, and I can move that to somewhere on the screen. And when I'm done, I can hit done and done again. And that brings those photos right into the checklist. Moving on to approvers, if I look at the top right side, if I have permissions to see the check mark in the blue top bar, um, I have the ability to go into the approver section. So I'll tap the check mark and you can see that there's a bunch of approvers on this checklist already. And um, I can go into any one of these that are mine and I can sign for that checklist item or that checklist itself. If I don't like my signature, I can hit clear signature and sign again in a different way. Hit the approved on and select today's date. It'll automatically throw the date and time in there for you and then select the status for that for that uh, signature. In the comments, I can also type in comments and attach photos and drawings there too to support my, my signature and my approval and then hit done on the top right corner when I'm done. If I don't have any approvers in here, it's because they have not been added to the checklist template on the web. So no approvers have been defined. Um, if I have the ability to, on the top right, I can hit the plus button and add approvers on demand. So I'm going to do that, and I have the ability to select from my project contacts like you just saw with assignees. So if I tap that, I can select a user from my project, or I can go back and hit add new and key one in. It's important to note that if I do it this way, that person will not be added to the project contact list but this gives me a way to add more approvers to the checklist. Also note that the approval of the checklist is not tied to the checklist status. So this is also another um, area where you would need to have permissions to select a new status, whether it's approved, rejected, it's still pending reinspection right now, uh, but those, those approvals are tied separately to the status of the record. So you can still approve your section and then Whoever's in charge of that checklist um, can be the one who changes the status there. Um, it's important to note that you can only sign on mobile. You cannot sign on the web. So if you need to sign a checklist off, make sure you do that on the mobile. Additionally, if I need to, just like I needed to add an approver, I can also add a checklist item down here. So I will go to the top right and hit the three dots at the top right on the menu bar. And you can see that I can add an approver just like I did. I can duplicate this and make a copy and fill it out, or I can add a checklist item. So I'm gonna do that. And it'll ask me for the type. So I'll say that it's a date and time, and I can choose whether I want to include those three buttons or not, the yes, no, NA, or the pass, fail, attention required, whatever you called them 
You can choose to include them or not with that toggle. And then you add a short description. Was the inspection performed? And hit done. And hit add. What it'll do is add it to the checklist at the bottom and scroll me there automatically. Okay, so now I'm down at the bottom and you can see that I can hit that button and pass this and I can put today's date in there and assign, add comments or add photos to this just like any other one. And at the top right, when I'm done with this checklist, I hit the middle button there that says on the top toolbar, on the blue toolbar that has the little disk save icon. So I hit save and it saves the record and brings me back out to the list view. And that record I was working with is at the top because the most recent records that you were working in will be it from the top down.